Hello everybody, this is Lucas at Frugal Landlord. I'm here at the mobile home and uh, we've been working on um, drywall, taping, and then after we're gonna spray some texture. Uh, the, the ceiling uh, was already drywalled and the sides, the walls were uh, just that paneling. And, uh, but we did have to do a lot of patching, uh, because, uh, of the roof leaks. Um, but I didn't, I didn't replace the whole entire ceiling. Um, just, uh, cut out the bad spots. And, uh, if it just had a stain like that, I left it. Uh, but if it had like moldy or just non-existent broken out, um, drywall, uh, I cut it out and patched it. Um, so like there's a big section over here that I had to cut out. And as we did that, um, if it needed new insulation, which it always, every time, uh, we cut a piece out, we replaced the, um, the insulation up there. And then, of course, uh, we, we put all new insulation behind this drywall here. Um, so, uh, this is what the, uh, the seams of the, of the original drywall looked like. show you I've basically just been taping over that and um, of course there's some patches over here that's all just uh, we're gonna sand that out and uh, and feather it out a little better than that but all the walls all the walls have new have new drywall and uh, So I'm gonna show you uh, the ceiling, and I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you a corner how I do that. Okay. Uh, the thing I've been using for the ceilings that really helped out is uh, this little. Uh, it's just a little cheap uh, taping tool. Um, let me show you how how you load it up tape goes in this side. It'll fit a 500 foot roll of tape in there. And uh, so you got it that far. It goes through there. And this mud, uh, to use with this taper, I found if you, uh, of course it's best to whip it no matter what. Um, just with a drill and a paddle. Um, and then I add a little water to it. Um, there's two reasons for that. Uh, it'll help the, the tape. Tape needs to be wet, so it helps uh, the tape. It also helps uh, for the tape to flow out of the, once you get the, I'll show you, but once you get the, uh, the tape on the wall, it's easier to get out if it's if it's thinned out a little bit. So I've already pre-whipped it and pre-thinned it a little bit. So we just load it in there. And, oh, I like to, when I'm starting out, give this a little bit of slack so it doesn't have to 
don't give it too much or it'll get caught it'll get caught in there but give it a roll or two like that or I like to do that and then look right here you see what happens now you got a ton of mud on there perfect for doing a for me, I don't even have to stand on anything. That's why it gives me a little extra reach. And uh, this seems to be fine with that, that level of uh, gap. There's enough mud in there to, uh, to get in there, so. makes it really nice and really fast to tape a ceiling joint with that. No measuring, no nothing. Just go up to the corner, cuts it off for you. Now you can see it's about just barely hanging up there. What I like to do right off the bat is just make it so it's not gonna fall down. Okay. Just light, lightly tie it up in there, mud. And then I can get my, I just use a, just a regular board. Some people have a, a hawk, but I'm too cheap for that. So, kind of start in the middle so you can me. push it both ways. But just start off light. Push the mud into the cracking out. standing on the bucket. And on the end, use it like that. I learned that from Tao. Now we're we're almost done with that part. You see how it's nice and flat, nice and flat there.
again. Just push it on down. See how it's coming out of both sides? That's good. You want just a little bit of, of mud under that tape. Okay, now that's done. And we're gonna put one one coat of uh, of compound over the top, and then let it dry before we sand it. Okay. Okay. When I go to get the mud, I put it on this side of the board. I like to have it as long as my. Uh, we're gonna use quite a bit, so. Probably even, maybe even more than that. And we're using now a wider knife. Start on one end, pick my bucket, and I want to, this is just how I do it, but I want it a, an arm's length away. And uh, some people like to whip that up before. I don't really bother to do that just because uh, I go over it so many times it whips it up when I uh, when I'm using it so one arm's length away put it to the to the tape like that and uh, tell, yes. get behind me okay. and up so you can see what I'm doing okay so I got it like that so when I pull it across, and when I'm pulling it across, I'm continuously pushing it into the tape. Okay. And I'm see I'm halfway on the tape like that, because then I'm gonna do halfway on the other side on the other like that. Okay, I've got a bunch on there. Now, you can take it and run it like that. Okay, that's one side. Now, before I move my bucket, I'm going to do the other side. Get that spider web out of there. And if there's little holes like that, I don't, I don't mess with it too much because it's going to be sanded and another, we're going to fill those in later. I do try to keep the, the edge feathered out some because it's kind of hard to sand off if it's real thick. The bucket, another arm's length.
already need to get more mud. Like I say, it will go on smoother if you whip this with, with the paddle. Um, but I don't waste my time with that. You won't get those, uh, if you whip it, you won't get those little, you won't get so much of that. just mix it up on your board that would also do this pretty much the same thing. That's all there is to it. That's as good as I get it on the first pass. Uh, just cause I guess I'm sloppy, but it ends up being perfect. Or pretty close to it. Um, instead of doing that one on tape, I will uh, just show you the corner. How I do that. For the corner, I scoop right out of the bucket. The corner trowel. I'm going to show you the corner real fast. This is going to take no time at all. First, we're going to pre do pre pre cut the tape. So what I do is I just measure it like like this. Run it down the wall. And then 
tear it like that. Yep, that's the right size. So it's going to be a corner, so it's uh, it's got a little crease on there, but um, if you fold it in half. Get, get enough on there before you can embed the tape. Sure, there's enough, not too much, but enough to okay. That's enough. Take the tape, get it wet. Now it's the same idea. You want to get it embedded into the into the mud. You see it squishing out on both sides. Actually, I want to use a longer knife than that. At the bottom, I don't have enough space to use that, so I just use a long trowel like that.
Okay. After you've embedded the tape, now, and it's flat. So you got both sides are pushed out. Okay. Now what I do is the exact same thing. I just put a layer on top. I'm just trying to get them get enough on there right now so I can make uh, try to make one pass all the way down it. Try to lift off slowly or evenly. I always seem to get that going up or down. I just leave it. Deal with that, sand it off when it dries. But what I do try to get is this edge. See how much mud there is on the edge? Just clean that off. Put the pressure on the outside of the knife and the inside of the knife, have it lift off. That's all I do, fix it up later. So later on, when that dries, we will uh, sand it and then feather the edge one time. And it'll probably look close to that. Okay, everybody, I'm going to do this next joint off camera because the video is probably getting long. But uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Thanks.